This is Martin Stewart for The Listening Planet. Find us on the web at thelisteningplanet.com to find that bird or animal sound you're looking for. Hi, this is the first time I've done anything like this, uh, so please forgive me if I stumble through my words and pushing buttons in the wrong places. I'll try and edit it all out before it's put onto YouTube or social media. I've been recording natural sounds for many, many years. I actually started when I was 11 in Birmingham, England, recorded my first Blackbird. I had a little tape recorder and my brother's microphone went into the fields and found a new world. And in 55 years now, I've visited something like 60 odd different countries and recorded nearly 90,000 files, which are all in my archive now. Um, and in those days, when I was born, there was 3.5 billion people on the planet not making as much noise as we do today. But 30 odd years ago, I could record a basic pristine hour in three or four hours with minimal editing, stopping, pausing, so on. Um, today, that one hour CD quality can take up to 2,000 hours to record. It's just crazy the amount of infrastructure now. There's 7.7 billion people on the planet making a racket. And I never used to have many problems when I recorded sounds at an early age because there just simply wasn't 20,000 planes in the sky. If you take a photograph, you have Photoshop to, to go in and clean it up and make it look good, take out, you know, backgrounds, remove stuff, whatever. You've never been able to do that really with audio until now. Anywhere I go to record in nature, you're going to have a plane or a car or an ATV or a leaf blower or a cell phone interference or whatever. And I'm going to show you just some basic editing, what you can do to remove unwanted sounds in your recording. So bear with me. I'm going to press probably the wrong buttons all the time. I'm going to open up Isotope 10. So this is Isotope 10. And this is a file I recorded in Central Florida on the 11th of June 2023. Along the bottom here is time. Along the side here is frequency. And you can see the frequency scale here from 0 hertz up to 20k. And in that frequency spectrum you see various things happening, all these lines. And if I isolate this particular area here, you'll find that I think this would probably be a northern cardinal. So it's only playing the area I've selected. Yeah, it's a cardinal. So when I select the whole file, you hear a lot of noise. And most of the noise is coming from down here in the lower frequency areas. There's planes, there's, there's a, a motorway I think about three miles away which is bleeding into a recording. How do we get rid of it? Well, there's a few ways to do it. There is a plugin called Ambient Match. And what you do with this is you find a nice piece of recording is, is one I did up in the boreal forest here. And you use the plugin to select and learn the frequencies of that recording and capture that so that you can use into this kind of scenario. So if I, for instance, select from around this frequency here and render this, 
I think the gain is about right. You have to fiddle around here to get the right settings, but if I render that, you'll see it replaces, although it's it's quite savage, but it's replaced those frequencies. And if I play you the original, it will run into the newly edited part. See, it's taken that away. It's taken all those low frequency rumble noises away and replaced it with something more pleasing. I'm not too keen on that. There's a little bit too much taken out. So what I try to do, let me Z out of that thing, is somewhere in the recording that you make, there's always going to be a quiet spot. Let me just close that out. I think there's a bit there. And you got to be careful when you select how much frequency you want to replace because here's the here's the cardinal and that's starting around about 1.5k. So let me go to this section here where there's some quiet stuff and we'll do kind of that. We'll select this part of the frequency um, on the file. I'll copy that. And this will be a plane, I think. I'll do a little bit more. Yeah, that's a plane. So watch this. If I paste into there, I can kind of start erasing where that plane was. When I play that now, basically that plane's gone. There's also other ways of doing this too, and let me show you. Here's another file that I recorded from that same place. This is all pretty cleaned up. I took a considerable amount of time to remove stuff and you can hear here. There's a bird. So if I take the frequency from this recording and copy it and take it into this recording and then let's paste it. coloration looks the same but listen to listen to the sound of it it's practically gone it's maintained the flies it's maintained the water ambience running stream obviously it's not affected the higher frequencies where the insects are or the birds but it's taken out all these low tones and here comes the original recording now there's a plane there I'll paste over that again it's gone so that's isotope 10 great tool for editing unwanted sounds in audio anything else subscribe I'll go and try and do a few more of these as long as I put something better on and clean up my desk. Okay, thanks for listening. 
You can find us on Facebook and Instagram by typing The Listening Planet. This is Martin Stewart saying thanks for listening.